What's up everybody, I'm Tucker, and this week, nothing really huge happened. There were a few, like, small sort of stuff, but nothing, oh, this is super important, oh my god. So first of those smaller things was they released the first picture of Laurel in Arrow as the new Black Canary since her sister died. Spoiler if you are not cut up from the first episode of the season. So her sister Sarah was the canary and now Laurel is going to become Black Canary. And so they released the first photo of her in her Black Canary get up. She looks pretty cool. I'm a fan of it. A lot of people don't really like Laurel's character in the show because sometimes she just it's kind of annoying and people are like she's dumb bring back Sarah but I don't know I think that she looks good in it and the character is fine it's not that bad stop complaining to people also in area Roy Harper pseudo officially got his name in the show because Roy Harper is Red Arrow at one point and that's how he's kind of get up now in the show looks but then he also becomes Arsenal sometimes, and so everyone with Arsenal, since Green Arrow is just Arrow, but it makes it up Arrow and Arrow, so it's Arrow and Arsenal. He said that, hey, your name should be Arsenal, because of like a joke thing in the plot, but yeah, so they'll maybe start calling him that now. And most importantly, in the last episode of Arrow, he used the boxing glove Arrow which is like a famous gag sort of arrow that Green Arrow has, where it's an arrow, a boxing glove on one end, so it punches him in the face when you shoot. That's kind of silly, so that wouldn't really work in the realistic-y context they're going for. But they did it yesterday. He was like fighting Ted Grant, aka Wildcat, and they were in Ted Grant's sort of like old base, so there was like boxing gloves around because he's a boxer. So they were tussling and he kind of rolled, stuck an arrow into a boxing glove and then shot at him. So that was, that was pretty cool. That was a fun little Easter egg thing. However, the Flash definitely had the best Easter egg teaser thing this week. Because at the very end of the episode, they always have a little extra thing with uh, Wells, the scientist guy that buries part of the team with with Cisco and Caitlin but so it was like getting an argument with the general guy General Eiling I believe his name is he was like oh you know stop this tele telepathic stuff you're working on blah 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 you're not gonna do it anymore to him he's safe here you know, like okay some dude he doesn't want him to hurt and so he kicks him out and he goes over and it's a gorilla and his name is Grodd and Gorilla Grodd is coming to flash it's gonna be great because so that's just ridiculous and i want to have that happen so gorilla Grodd, for those of you that don't know is a flash villain it's a gorilla obviously who's really intelligent and has telepathic powers <laughs> so he's coming pretty much confirmed so that should be pretty cool in the new episode of gotham this week they have tommy elliott in as a bully and tommy elliott those of you who are in the know becomes the Batman villain Hush later on in the future. So that was a fun, hey look, it's him sort of deal. Cause they were like childhood friends and he became evil and makes his face look like Bruce Wayne and does stuff as Bruce Wayne. It's, it's an interesting stuff. Hush is a pretty interesting guy. And then also Alfred was like, beat him up. And then Bruce beat him up. Alfred was like, nice, let's get some pizza. So that was kind of weird, but a fun new take on Alfred in live action. When the episode started, though, I was a little worried because they were like, yeah, blah, blah, psionics. And I was like, uh-oh, Black Mask. But Black Mask is like similar age to Bruce Wayne, I think. He like gets his black mask by carving 
some wood out of his dad's coffin and makes a mask with it. But then this was the dad who's in the coffin. He's alive because it's <laughs> the past. He was wearing a black mask and doing stuff. And so that kind of bothered me because that's not right. Don't do that. That's like how there's rumor that Scarecrow's going to be in the show. But it's going to be like Jonathan Crane's dad was the first Scarecrow and he just took up the mantle. Which I don't like as much. But we'll see. If they do it well, maybe it'll turn out okay. But Scarecrow is Scarecrow. He's the only one. He's a cool guy. I really like Scarecrow, so don't make him weird, please. Uh, so that episode wasn't as good as the Gotham the week before, which was a pretty solid episode. Cobble pots all over the place. So the other day, this rumor came out that Sony, the people who currently have the rights to make Spider-Man movies, are going to make a movie based off of Ant. <sighs> they have licensed to Spider-Man and all those essential Spider-Man characters and they're gonna make a movie about Aunt May maybe this is not confirmed thank god but it might happen they're like working on it I don't know why <laughs> why would you make a movie about Aunt May instead of Spider-Man just make Amazing Spider-Man 3. I was a fan of the Amazing Spider-Man movies. They weren't amazing. Haha. -ha. But I thought they were solid. I really like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. And Emma Stone was a really good Gwen Stacy too. But that doesn't matter right now. But they're going to make a movie about Aunt May. No, please don't do that. So I didn't know this, but a couple days ago I found out there was a comic storyline about a younger Aunt May working with Peter's parents, you know, the secret agents, and Uncle Ben was there too, and they're all younger. And I guess it was revealed that Aunt May is actually Peter Parker's mom? Or something? It was dumb. It didn't sell well, I don't think. Not a lot of people were fans, I guess. I don't know why you make a movie about it. Please don't, Sony. They have so many different Spider-Man movie ideas they're throwing out, though. Amazing Spider-Man 3, they pushed back to 2018. They say they're working on a Sinister Six film. They said they're going to do a female-led Spider-Man movie. Now the rumor is it's going to be a whole bunch of different females from the Spider Universe all working together, even if they haven't ever worked together in the comics. They were going to make a Venom Carnage movie, but I guess they canceled that, even though Venom is a super popular character, so people would probably go to that movie. And then Aunt May. I just can't get over the fact that they're considering that. Don't do that. Make Spider-Man movies if you need to keep the license. Don't. I would rather they just sold back to Marvel. They're not going to use it to actually make interesting movies. I think that's it for this week. i got to go study for my midterm tomorrow. Hopefully do well. We'll see. Might let you know if a thing it matters. Who knows? You'll have to come back to find out how I did. As always, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want more. Or just do it anyways. I'd be fine with that personally. But yeah, do that and I will see you all next.